two terabytes right there. A Data's new XPG SX930. And uh, what's cool about this one is it's actually using an LSI controller, the LSI Griffin 3700 series, two terabytes. And they won't give me any specifics on the speed, but um, the goal, so says the LSI rep, is to blow everything out of the water. And uh, that's not just in the sequential reads and writes, that's also with the uh, the IOPS. And, the, you know, just randoms and latency and all that sort of thing. But I'm really excited, uh, uh, you know, about this size for one, but uh, if they can if they can deliver the IOPS like they're saying, it'll be one hell of a drive. Now this is actually not a product, but this is a PCI Express um, LSI card with a bunch of flash on there, and we're just really showing off the uh, the Griffin 3700 uh, controller. And as you can see over here, it's stupid fast, uh, close to 140,000 IOPS in this test. And this is a PCI Express, so it's not exactly indicative of what you're going to get with SATA, but it is showing off what the um, you know the controller can do. And then uh, megabytes per second with this uh, 1800. Yeah. Here's some DDR4 in the wild. This is what it looks like. Uh, this is a 2133 megahertz DDR4 right here. This is server grade memory. There's not really going to be much of this coming out for um, consumer grade stuff this year. Maybe in 2015 we'll start to see some of this come out with the crazy heat spreaders for uh, enthusiast systems and overclockers. But right now, it's DDR4 for servers. Now this Ultrabook from Sony is using an M.2 SATA drive from Adata, and as you can see the speeds are pretty good. It's got 256 gigabytes of uh, storage as well. This is the Adata CE700, and this is a uh, wireless charging stand, and it'll work with any QI certified device. So what's interesting about this is a lot of times there's like a stand, and then sometimes, you know, they're like a flat device like this where you lay your phone on it, just like that one there. But this one is both a flat charging device, and it can also be a stand for your tablet or your smartphone. So check this out. We're going to turn this thing into a stand right now. And all you have to do to turn it into a stand is, uh, well, you gotta take the phone off of it. <laughs> and then you uh, just remove it from the base. It snaps off quite easily. And then uh, you can actually adjust the, the height of this as well. And there, now it's a stand. And like I said, this will work with your tablet or your smartphone. And you can adjust the height of that as well. So it's pretty versatile and it keeps things charged. Look at all the colors. Yeah, look at all these different colors. Um, now, there, there's all kinds of different heat spreaders out there. Right now, um, the ones that are available are the ones on the bottom here. All the other ones here are not out yet. Matte black looks really nice. We got white, green, orange, red, blue, purple. Which one would you guys like to see? Let us know in the comments which one you like the best, and maybe we'll see them on the market. Now here we can see the uh, purple ones, but they are in this totally custom case from Inwin. This has been totally customized for a data. They even, uh, I guess, we'll look, look where the motherboard mounts here. It's completely upside down, and they've got the uh, the SATA mounting parts on the top there, so we can see them. Pretty cool of Nwin to do that. It really looks nice with that RAM. How about a micro SSD? This will go all the way up to 128 gigabytes, and this is gonna be really good for tablets and laptops. Uh, I mean, you can mount it, there's a board over here. Pre-mounted right there, but back over here. Uh, so yeah, this will be really, really, really handy for mobile devices, and who knows, maybe even uh, a bunch of these on a board in a, in a computer, or a bunch of these like this.